and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you are watching Domestic Diva DIY. I thought today I actually show my face on this video introduction. I will be sharing a furniture upcycle. These coffee tables I have gotten oh about 23 or so years ago and decided to upcycle them. Now the coffee table was in a pretty rough shape, so it needed extra work. So this video is in collaboration with Sustain My Craft Habit, uh, Jane and Sonia. And um, if you do not follow Jane and Sonia, make sure you uh, head on over to their channel. They do a lot of uh, upcycling type of videos and they also have a blog. They also have a cooking blog as well. And I, they're both fellow Canadians. They actually both grew up in Kitchener. I will have their channel linked down below. So make sure you go and check them out. And I will have their video linked down below as well for you to go directly to the video that is part of this collaboration. So without further ado, let's get started with upcycling. So as you can see this coffee table is in a pretty rough shape and originally it was just raw wood it's pine and it never had any stain on it or anything but I did use it as a at one point as a crafting table so it needed to get all that stuff off and I am using orbital sandal with a hundred grit paper This did take a little while to do because uh, once I was done with 100, I switched down to 150 and then to 200. So here it is and the reason why I was setting the top because this is where I'm going to be applying the stain. The bottom however I'm going to be painting with chalk paint so that will not be needing any sanding. I am also showing you the two side tables now they were chalk painted and uh, here is um, using that 100 grit paper it takes the chalk paint right off which was a very easy uh, easy job. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I would love it if you considered subscribing, pressing the notification bell if this is something that you like to watch. I also want to mention I have a uh, home channel and a cooking channel and all of the links are going to be in the description box. And here as well as I was uh, getting close to the raw wood I just kept switching out the sandpaper. Once it was all done, I just used a cloth with some water and to just dusted everything off and cleaned it really well, making sure that there were no sticky things on it or anything stuck to it because otherwise the um, paint will not stick. Uh, I am also using just a fine sandpaper just to take anything then that's on there off if uh, the water did not work. The chalk paint that I am using is by Annie Sloan Paint and it is Athenian Black and I will have it linked down in the description box along with a similar brush that I am using. I have gotten this brush at Benjamin Moore but I 
no longer think that they carry that one I've had it for a very long time so as you can see this chalk paint is quite dark it is um, a lot darker than their graphite in my opinion um, but I think it's perfect for this project and I am painting the legs and the bottom of the table it did take me two full coats to give it a good coverage Once it was done and dry, I flipped it over and I am going uh, using very thin stain in special oak. Some suggested you should use a conditioner on pine prior to staining it in order to get a more even stain. Um, I did not use that because I was going more for that rustic look so I did not mind if some stain was darker or lighter uh, in places. For the top coat over the stain, I am using General Finishes High Performance Water Based Top Coat. And for the bottom, I will be using Rust Oleum Chalked um, Clear Coat in Matte. I do like using a clear coat like that for the chalk paint, it is a little bit easier than using wax now you can also use the high performance uh, general finishes uh, top coat for both if you wish to they will work both um, just the same i am using a sponge paint a sponge paint brush to apply the finishing uh, the top coat and i am going with the wood grain and, and when you're applying the stain, you should be doing the same. I forgot to mention, but when you're applying the wood stain, you should always go with the grain. They do suggest several coats, so I am doing three for the stain. For the chalk finish, I only did one. Now, I did not want to bore you with the repetition, but I did the exact same steps with the two side tables that I showed you uh, when I was sanding the chalk paint off. So here it is. I think it turned out absolutely stunning. I think it's going to look great in my new space. And it wasn't hard to do. A little bit of a uh, um, long process with sanding but so well worth it well i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give me a thumbs up and if you are stopping by uh at my channel from sonia and jane's channel uh, make sure uh you let me know down in the comments that, that they have sent you and i would love it if you press the subscribe button and became a part of my youtube family and don't forget to press the notification bell either, so that way you can be notified whenever I post a new video. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.